Turbo. I committed all the dots. Put that foreign out the lot. Move the family to the docks. Put some diamonds in my watch. Falling like a big shot. Falling like a big shot. Uh, Falling like a big shot. Uh, uh, uh. Then this man, I pop my dollar. Must be a scholar. Spent 2K on ball main jogger. Yeah, I'm jogging to the bank. Captain of the ship and we won't sink. A soaring CN Tower is seen from the waters of Lake Ontario. Along with the rest of beautiful downtown Toronto, our setting today. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge from the sidelines. DA, take it away. Well guys, Clay Thompson is capable of being a prototypical go-to guy. But his role in Golden State is more restrained. Clay said, I don't care. I get paid handsomely in a great place, and we compete for championships year in and year out. From day one, I've been a warrior. I'm just thankful to be here. Kevin, he likes to play ball and play with his dogs. And that's it. He loves playing there, DA, and they love him. Thank you so much. Two pretty high-level defensive teams tonight, Doris. Is that due to talent, or scheme, or hustle, or, or what do you attribute it to? I think, Kevin, you just named the three things that are prerequisites to being a great defensive unit. Number one, you have got to have individual talent that is suited athletically to guard. Number two, you've got to have a great scheme that the coach has put in position. How are you guarding the pick and roll? Do you want a top lock? Do you want to get out and challenge? Are you switching the pick and roll? And a lot of that comes down to, do you want to be great? Are you going to lay it all out there? Are you going to sacrifice your body? All of those things are a necessity. And now the Golden State Warrior starters. Russell and Thompson, the perimeter. Green and Cauley Stein are down low. And it's Curry in at the point. And for the Raptors. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Ed Van Bleed out there with Lowry. And it's Powell in at the three. Beyond the arc. And Russell with the basket on the assist by Curry. Russell's got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for the Warriors. Out of bounds, out of Golden bounds. State takes possession. Lowry against Curry. And Thompson kicks to Curry. And another three for Golden State. Boy, the ability to pull the trigger so quickly. Steph Curry doesn't even appear to set himself. If it's a clean catch, he's getting that shot off. Wasted no time on that one. Russell's got five points so far. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And you know this, Greg. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now, here is Russell after the Marcus Holmes and the slam dunk by Russell. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. No doubt, Greg, on the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Powell, following the score by Golden State. Van Vliet can't get it to go, and it's the Warriors' ball. It's been 10 unanswered points. Thompson finds Coley Stein. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And in recent years, some call the Warriors the greatest fast-breaking team since the Showtime Lakers. Doris, do, do you concur? Greg, the Showtime Lakers are my all-time favorite team. But I will say, because of the shooting, the ball handling, the passing, the capability on every possession for something spectacular, I would say that this team was as close as you can get to the Showtime Lakers. This all against Cauley Stein. Cauley Stein with the defensive effort. Warriors have gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. 
Fast break Toronto. Here's Van Vliet. And the Raptors miss again. Hey guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Well, there's no doubt there were better options on the floor, but it certainly seemed like he had his mind made up. The Raptors have gone 0 of 4, missing their first four field goals here. There's the triple. And the Raptors miss again. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Well, he may have worn out his welcome in L.A., but D'Angelo Russell found a good landing spot in Brooklyn. A team in rebuild in need of an offensive infusion. They've unleashed his talent. One shot. One shot. And Russell at 6'5", able to play at the point guard or the shooting guard. Greg, when you look at his game, what's his best position? Probably the one. I mean, we're seeing a trend towards bigger point guards at the same time that fours and fives are trending smaller. Everybody wants that switchability on defense. So it's the Warriors now. Raptors knocking down the tray. Curry passes to Russell. The three. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And Coley Stein throws it down. Well, you have to appreciate the willingness of Clay Thompson to move the basketball. How pretty is that, guys? Here's Siakam. And the Raptors hit again from deep. Well, that's his shot right there. You know if he gets any kind of room, he's going to dial it up from distance. Russell finds Coley Stein. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Siakam. It's Gasol missing. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Second chance shot, and there's the nice layup by Coley Stein. Cauley Stein's got his third basket of the night. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Shoots. The shot by Lowry, no good. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Here's Powell. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. A new group in now for the Raptors. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. OG Ananobi comes in for Pascal Siakam. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Norman Powell. And McCaw is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Then for the Warriors, Looney comes in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Robinson is subbed in for Thompson. Lowry kicks to Ananobi. Top of the key. Off the left rim and out. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder, should he have moved it just one pass more? And the Warriors miss again. Raptors trail by 19. Let's it go from deep. Hands it from downtown. Nice job by OG Ananobi to be aggressive from distance.